Edu Leuven is on the field from the start for the first time at home since March 2nd. Kyle Hebert is away with Canada. Miguel Araujo is with Peru. Diego Chara suspended, so there's a first start for a month for Zach McGraw at the back. So could it be moving day in MLS? Two teams with a chance to steal a march while most of their rivals have a week off. St. Louis and Portland. Big climb from Nielsen. And look at this Portland break. Vergata slips into Anthony. Look at Rodriguez arriving from the left-hand side. Great chance for the Timbers. Good save, Berkey. All action. First three minutes in St. Louis. And Anthony will win the free kick. It's thrilling. Thrilling already. The first of uh, two games in their international break. They'll face France in Bordeaux tomorrow. Here is Klaus on the edge of the box with a chance to beat Pam Temes. He does, but the flag is up on the far side. And for now, it won't count. On the ball here as they look to play out. Zuberic into Vander. Vander. It's too casual from him and into Klaus. He is already. There's Tim Parker with Klaus on the shoulder. Parker hasn't scored yet this season in. MLS, but he's dangerous from these situations. Here's the corner, there's the header, and it's just wide of the target from Tim Parker. It should be. That should be. I don't think that's his first instinct. I don't think that's his first desire. But he has to switch on to that tonight. Kojima over the top, and Pantemis was alive to that. Flag stayed down. And out for a throw, and it goes. Everything we hear inside the locker room as well. He's the biggest personality, biggest jokester. And that comes out on the pitch. Has that bit of flair? Flair two from Anthony for Portland. Moreno square to Evander. Dangerous because he can line this up. It's deflected and just wide of the target. Maybe a little touch there from Berkey as well. Four shutouts for Berkey this season. This is the corner. Oh, well, they've worked this for Ashala. What a moment that could have been. Just wide of the right post. It's Moreno, he's got Anthony wide. Lay back for Mosquera, that's quick feet, nice feet to feed Moreno again. Overlap from Anthony, lines up the shot, come cross, Berkey beats it away. And Vasilev trying to bring it away, but that's a Shala in with the challenge, although the referee's going to pull play back. He's wanting a card, Vasilev. Leuven for Klaus, he's got through, it's beaten Pantemis, but McGraw is there to stop it crossing the line and bring it away to safety for the Timbers. Oh, it's a lovely ball, it's Anthony, he's ripped them open, and Berkey denies him, it on the ricochet, it goes over the top, it was almost an advantageous moment for Anthony, there is a flag up on the near side. And there's so many Timbers defenders around that area where Leuven's hitting. Here's the corner. It's going to come all the way out of Pompeo, put back, and saved by Pantemis. With strong hands. Vasilev on his left. Acrobatically cleared. Ashana helping it out. Pompeo again, though, and he's got space and time. It's deeper, it's Parker, and Pantemis with the acrobatic catch. That first touch is on, then he's got a clear strike at goal. Anthony will get a free kick there. He pulled one of the markers away as well, didn't he? And opened up that space for Moreno on that last attack. Zubrich with the challenge. On well, the block from Anthony. Now, well, Nielsen has taken the yellow card there because he knows that if Anthony's away, Portland are in business. Yaro coming on. We'll take up the right side. Tim Parker shifts over to the left-hand side. And Parker gives it away, although it's one back via foul. And it's Kojima then tries to dive in. It'll rebound to McGraw. Got to be careful. And he sold Zubrich a bit short there. And Zubrich has had to go in very firm and hard. He's earned a yellow card for that. I think he might look at his central defensive partner and say we ought to split that one. Anthony just a little bit too loose, a little bit too casual on the ball. And McGraw just scrambling a little bit. More or less just passes off responsibility. And that street sort of player. Oh, he's had to be brave there and he's hurt. As there's another caution. It'll go to Pompeo. 
And he doesn't waver going in the tackles either. He steps in a good solid challenge. That for me is a fair challenge. It's a good challenge from Pompeo. Lewin standing over this free kick. Here he goes. Over the wall. Oh, off the post. Parker. Oh, brilliant. Bravo. What a piece of defending. Not sure how much he knew, but he's kept it scoreless. Gets over the wall, clears it. He's got good whip in it. Ten Simmons doesn't even move. He's beat. And it's there for Parker. It comes off the leg. Bravo does know something about this. He retreats well. Great instinct. None of the other Timbers players are trying to play with the game in front of them where Williamson will be given that license to go and release. Well, the yellow card, Durkin's challenge this time. A little stamp here. Ty does catch him for the trip to Dallas next week. Rodriguez goes over and oh, referees pulled the card out again. And both players afterwards trying to figure out was it was it mine or was it yours? That's why Tolan's gone into the bus. I think Mora and Leuven are saying, who was that? Was that for me or for you? Oh, another yellow, this time Totland. Well, Totland for the challenge. But there was another book in prior to that. And actually, think Leuven, because Leuven and Mora are right beside each other. <laughs> Just puts his foot in, nips it away. Sets the timbers on. And that's the last action. It's a stalemate in St. Louis. Nil-nil it finishes.